Despite warnings from the British public and even Tory backbenchers, Jeremy Hunt and the Tory government continue to spend billions of taxpayers' money on woke projects. Go woke, go broke. Surprise, everybody. Jeremy Hunt is still wasting your taxpayers' money. There is absolutely no stopping when it comes to what we are seeing around the country, from the NHS diversity managers to the, the, the Met Police, rainbow cars, and of course, the civil servants in Whitehall. First, in November, we had so many articles about this, which we're going to focus on, and the latest numbers as well. November and December, they've had so such a long time to stop this nonsense, yet £7 billion the government is spending on woke projects and woke roles. Are they that weak to stand up against the, the woke Whitehall establishment? Probably not. Probably because they don't care. Probably because they, they probably think it's, it's the right agenda. I mean, we should come across as more liberal and progressive and hug a hoodie and have a, have a teddy bear that's pink with cotton candy and everything. Maybe. But we, we did warn Camilla Turner uh, in a telegraph. I actually talked about this a month ago, saying that £27 million of taxpayers' money wasted on these uh, liberal projects such as decolonizing <laughs> 120,000 dried plants. Um, okay, Jeremy Corbyn, but fair enough, that's just one thing. But when you look at the tax burden in this country <laughs> and the absolute chaos that we are seeing, it's now at its highest in decades. And there is no appetite from Rishi Sunak or Jeremy Hunt to actually do anything about the tax burden. In fact, they are increasing our taxes every single day. That's one issue. But in the middle of a cost of living crisis, when families feel the pinch, you can see the household disposable income and the annual uh, percentage change, and we get the the pink area on the, the, the right wing, the right side of the graph is the November uh, forecast. And it's actually embarrassing when you look at the stats that we are getting from the ONS and OBR. But again, there are some um, people who are trying to fight back. There's a massive letter that some of the people on the right wing of the Tory party have been signing, but they're not in power. So we have absolutely no hope that anything could change. Now, this letter was signed by senior Tories backing a report, including David Davis, Jake Berry, Ian Duncan Smith, Esther McVeigh. They said, we need to be able to reassure our constituents who are worried about the cost of living crisis that every penny of taxpayers' money spent on their behalf provides value for money and is not wasted. I'm not sure what was the, what the point of that letter was, because do you really think that Jeremy Hunt is going to read that and say, oh, I, I, all I wanted was the right-wingers in the Tory party to write me a letter and try to force me to change my mind. I've changed my mind now. I'm no longer a socialist. <laughs> There's no point. Absolutely no point. And none of these guys have any influence anymore. Um, and so that's why some people say, oh, if you're a right-wing Tory, just give up and join Reform UK anyway. Um, but... Some people say, well, stay in and fight. I don't care either way. I'm just going to do my job regardless of party colours. We will hold you to account. Whether you're blue, red, purple, yellow, rainbowy, white, black. I don't know. Why do we not have any party like that? But okay. We need, we need more rainbow. <laughs> Let's take a quick break. And we'll come back in half an hour. We have a big video. The next video is going to be huge. It's about a... Um, I'm not going to spoil it too much. But a Labour councillor. A Labour former councillor who is now a Labour parliamentary candidate, who has a bit of a dark and dodgy history when it comes to the grooming scandal and cover-up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya TC and we are the media.